Volatility Indicators In this video you will learn the different types of volatility indicators such as the standard deviation, the Bollinger Bands, and the average true range. What is volatility? Volatility measures the size and frequency of changes in the price of a security. It is the pace at which prices move and how wildly they swing. Generally, changes in volatility tend to lead changes in price. The higher the volatility, the riskier the security. Volatility is either measured by standard deviation or other technical indicators. The standard deviation is the most commonly used tool to measure volatility. It measures the difference between the actual price and its average value. The larger the volatility, the higher the standard deviation. Standard deviation is used to measure the price variation of a security and thus its relative risk. To calculate the standard deviation, first calculate an X period simple moving average. The default period used is 21. However, in our example, we will use a three period moving average. Average three closing prices of 75, 65, and 55 gives us an average of 65. The second step is to determine each period's deviation from this average. Our first close is 75 minus the average of 65 results in 10. 65 minus 65 is 0. And our third point, 55 minus 65, results in negative 10. Next, we sum the squares of each period's deviation. Negative 10 squared plus 0 squared plus 10 squared equals to 200. Divide this sum by the number of periods used. In our case, 200 divided by 3. Finally, we calculate the square root of this result and we get 8.16 as the standard deviation. Standard deviation provides an estimate for expected price movements and hence the risk of a security. Price moves greater than the standard deviation show above average strength or weakness. These moves are used to spot overbought or oversold price conditions. Another volatility indicator is the Bollinger Bands. This volatility indicator was named after its founder, John Bollinger. He wanted to create a dynamic price channel that follows price movements and accommodates for volatility at the same time. This indicator is made of three bands, where the upper and lower bands are plotted two standard deviations above and below a moving average. Because standard deviation measures volatility, bands will be wider during increased volatility and narrower during decreased volatility. The middle band is the 20 period simple moving average. The upper band is plotted two standard deviations above the 20 period simple moving average. The lower band is plotted two standard deviations below the 20 period simple moving average. The most popular way of using Bollinger Bands is the squeeze. When standard deviation has low values, the bands squeeze and come near each other, implying low volatility. Low volatility begets high volatility. So when the bands squeeze, it provides a signal that a large move, up or down, is to be expected. A bullish signal is given as soon as the body of one of the candlesticks closes above the upper Bollinger Band. A bearish signal is given as the body of one of the candlesticks closes below the lower Bollinger Band. One of the signals from Bollinger Bands is a W bottom. The W bottom forms in a downtrend and indicates to a bullish reversal. First, a bottom forms below the lower band. Then there is a bounce towards the middle band, and then a new bottom is formed above the lower band. The pattern is confirmed after a move above the last top.
The M forms in an uptrend and indicates to a bearish reversal. First, a top forms above the upper band. There is a correction towards the middle band. And then a new top is formed below the upper band. The pattern is only confirmed after a move below the last bottom. Bollinger Bands also show whether prices are relatively high or low. Reaching the upper or lower bands indicates the movement is far-fetched and a correction is expected. If, after reaching the upper band, prices cross below the 20-period average, the lower band becomes the target. If, after reaching the lower band, prices cross above the 20-period average, the upper band becomes the target. Walking the bands. During a strong trend, prices can move alongside the upper or lower bands with many touches without correcting in the opposite direction. This is what is known as walking the bands. Strong trending prices will fluctuate between the upper lower band and the 20 period moving average. A crossing beyond the moving average alerts for a trend reversal to the opposite side. Average true range is another volatility indicator that was developed by J. Wells Wilder. Using a volatility formula based only on the high-low range will fail to capture volatility from price gaps. This is why Wilder created the average true range to capture this missing volatility. The average true range does not provide an indication of price direction, just volatility. True range is defined as the greatest of the following values. Current low minus previous close. Current high minus previous close. Or current high minus current low. The average true range is a moving average for a true range for a specific time period, usually 14 periods. High average true range values can warn traders of potential market tops and bottoms. Low average true range values can also indicate ranging markets. Many traders use the average true range as their initial stop loss. A bullish reversal with an increase in ATR shows strong buying pressure and reinforces the reversal. A bearish support break with an increase in ATR shows strong selling pressure and reinforces the support break. In our next video, we will talk about average directional movement. Thank you for watching.